let's go ahead and close up this tab right here and now we need a place to store all of our unit tests no I'm sorry not unit tests automated tests so again we're gonna come here right click on our solution we're going to do add new project and now instead of a console application we're gonna add a unit test project so I'm gonna here come here in Visual C Sharp to test and look we have a unit test project this is basically just like a template that allows us to have a lot of things predefined and you guys should have learned that from Tiffany so instead of calling it unit test project one I'm going to call it our tests let's call it QTP tests excellent so what you guys will see right away is it creates us these QTP tests with this test class and a test method things are predefined there it's kind of like a little template that allows us to use use it and have an easier way to flow through our code otherwise we would have to write all this ourselves and the next thing to do is so that we can use selenium web driver in here is we need to add a reference so what I'm going to do is come in here to references add reference and we're going to use it from our project and it's going to reference framework and because it references framework we can now write tests that have WebDriver and WebDriver support in it.